Hey guys, um, so I imported an old picture of me from about, I don't know, like a year ago. I got a haircut since then, so don't judge. <laughs> Alright, well, basically I'm going to show you how to remove an eye in Photoshop, or basically any part that you want to. So that's what the um, original image looked like, and then um, after image. Now you can either remove it by covering it up with hair, or I can show you how to just remove it completely. So let's jump in. So take your background layer, you're just going to want to duplicate it. Now, this is mainly done by using the clone stamp. So I'm using a 45 pixel soft brush, and we'll zoom in. And you're going to hold out, this will give you the option to select your source. I'm going to select from about over here. I'm just going to be clicking around my eye, lighten it up a little bit, I need to blend in, and then, see it just, it doesn't mesh with my hair though, and then, so that's what you have, but it doesn't really blend, so you're going to want to zoom in some, create the source on your hair, And then, that's what I look like without an eye, basically. Um, I want to put some hair right there, though. And, you know, now I am missing an eye. Uh, it still kind of looks covered up, but there's only so much I can do with my hair covering my eye. But that's the basics to it. Um, you take your clone stamp, I'll show one more thing. I can select my source and then click. And sometimes you want to and that's what it looks like without a mouth um so it's really simple to do you just have to uh, work a little bit I guess um, and then if you don't if you do something on the same layer you just mask out my eye and delete it. So that's what I look like without an eye. But or that's what I look like with an eye and not a mouth. You know. Or both. Whatever you want. So this is what I look like without a mouth now. One thing that kind of bothered me is the um, part that comes down from your nose. I have no clue what that's called. But I don't think there's much I'm able to do about it, is there? That's about all I really got right there. Whoops. Alright, now I'll show you one more thing. So I'm going to create a new layer. If my mouse would stop freaking out. Okay, new layer. And then press Control, Alt, Shift, and E. And that will just apply the image. Alright. Now you can take the burn tool, you might have to right click and select it, and then, see I could burn part of myself. Now I have this burn on my cheek. Um, then you know you can lower down the opacity to whatever you think looks more real. Maybe you want, maybe now we'll take that eye and we'll burn, burn it a little bit. Actually, it kind of gives you the effect of a black eye. So now, I'm a kid with no mouth and a black eye. Now, one thing you might want to do is take your eraser, 100 pixel soft brush, lower the opacity, and then click on the bottom so it kind of fades out. And, look at that. Now I'm a kid with no mouth and a black eye. Like, I just got the crap kicked out of me. Like, they kicked my mouth off. Or in. Maybe, like, they made me eat my own mouth. It's hmm. a good question. But, so, that's how to basically remove body parts, I guess. Sounds very weird. Um, 
So it's basically like a photo manipulation tutorial. Um, 